should I become a real estate agent in 2023? Maybe. <laughs> Basically, do you think you have what it takes? Definitely a different market from the last time I made a video like this. Interest rates are higher, buyers are more hesitant, we're seeing more objections, but people are still buying. But it takes a lot more education when it comes to being a real estate agent in today's market. So you are definitely having to do a lot more individual education or whether you're on a team, if they provide any education or coaching, I am definitely very, very grateful, have been blessed with an amazing work family and amazing coaches that have uh, morphed me into the real estate agent that I am today. Right now, every 60 seconds, I believe, an agent is done. They have called it quits. They are no longer in the real estate field. They are quitting. If you think you have what it takes, that's really where that uh, secret sauce really lies. I know I've been in a few interviews with uh, some of our leadership and if I am in the interview interviewing new agents, I will ask them, why are you getting into real estate? Now, if any of those answers are, you know, easy money, flexible schedule, it's not, you know, necessarily a, oh no, they're not getting the job, but it's, more of a, hey, that's not always what that looks like. That's not how life works. So um, definitely not how real estate works either. I work very, very hard being a real estate agent. I spend a lot of hours doing my absolute best to provide my buyers and my sellers with the absolute best experience that I can possibly provide for them. And it doesn't always work out. Sometimes the uncontrollable things do happen and it is very emotional. It's a very emotional process, not only for clients, but for the real estate agent as well, especially if you're working with one that truly cares. Believe me, I truly care about my clients and my boss always says there is not a uh, work-life balance and I truly believe that. If my client has had a bad day, likely I'm not having the best day either and it's easy to take that home with you. You know, I also think that that is a quality of a good agent as well, is having empathy and caring. I know that I personally need to do better about taking the emotion out of my job. And that is also a huge thing is it is very, very, it takes a very big toll on agents, especially the ones that care, like I said, mentally, physically, emotionally, the list kind of goes on. Now, that was all of the hard hitting stuff. Should you become a real estate agent in 2023? If you can get past those things, absolutely yes. If you are driven and you feel like you can take the word no and turn it into a yes, yes, you should get into the business. You should give it a shot. You should see, is this your true calling? Is this your true passion? Serving others and helping others. So if you can build discipline outside of work, you can build discipline within your work and within your professional life as well. Personally, what I did was go to the gym. That is the biggest paradigm. It has built confidence for me. It's built discipline. It's built grit for me. And it has all bled into my professional life. That has been the biggest shift. If you can fix your physical, it will also fix your mental. Maybe not always, <laughs> I guess I'm not speaking for everyone, but I can definitely speak for myself and that has helped me tremendously. If this video has at all spoken to you, feel free to reach out to me. I will have all of my socials and my number and email linked below. Um, if you have any questions or just call the office and ask for Maggie, I'd be happy to help.